Ragnaros's Fire Festival. Defeat your opponent, but if you feed an ever-growing, minion-eating, tiny Fire Lord, there may be a, a reward in it for you. Okay, so this is the one where Ragnaros is immune on your opponent's board, and every time he goes off with his rag uh, fire shot, he grows. And I think he does, he starts off doing one or two damage, and then he kills something and he grows by one, I think. Like always, we go through every class from warrior to priest, learning along the way, right? We, uh, we try to do our best in the first game, but by the end, we hope to have found out all the little tricks whether we find them ourselves or we see what our opponents are doing. There might be a lot of minions running around this because everyone's going to be playing Honda Creepers and eggs and stuff. So that's a little bit interesting. Also, Grim Patron is just really good. So anything that activates Grim Patron, we might just automatically run here. Oogle's Bane. If everyone is playing Grim Patron, Fool's Bane, uh, pretty good, right? If like, new, if like all the classes are playing Patron, then there's a way to get rid of them, right? Nerubian Egg, Honda Creeper. Devil Star Egg. That could just absorb a lot of the damage, right? I mean... Because it, it will make sure the the rag guy won't grow very much. It's kind of interesting. Maybe I... Yeah, maybe we play this and we just play Silence. Because Silence, I think, is going to be good. Right. Let's see how this goes. Again, we're um, assuming that we need Silence and that Death Rattle... Eggs are good. We'll Probably see. Probably some very strong neutrals that uh, we're not including, but we might be uh, able to figure it out by the end of the brawl here. We can also try to silence the rag. I'm not sure if we can target it, but I know mass yeah. dispel Versus kind of doesn't yeah. target, so that might work. Alright, uh, we'll keep the one, the two, three. Try to get a uh, weapon, I think. Oh, he starts at two. Okay, so he doesn't. Job's done. Huh. Because he starts at 2, Patron gets a lot worse because it's going to be uh, killing Patrons pretty quickly, right? Also, because he starts at 2, very, very aggressive decks get a little bit interesting. Like Novice Engineer, that's a... That's a uh, Alright. Alright, well... Well, this game, these games are going to be fast, I guess. <laughs> he also doesn't do three. Oh, he pings. That's why Grim Patron's insane, because he pings. Yeah, that's kind of dumb, actually. The Grim Patron is, like, you like my really busted. Anything, anything that goes face is a little bit more interesting, right? Just because this thing is going to add up. So we got... We got egg. I strike. Egg armor versus egg forger souls versus death bite go face. All right, let's go face. It makes my turn five a little bit bad, but he's going to have to ping this or deal with it. I guess he doesn't have to deal with it. Alright. Oh, never mind. Wow, so he just takes a billion damage. Now he has to survive eight pings. I guess he has ice block, huh? No, 
There's a special reward? Ooh. Oh, we get an emote. All right, so it says mini ride kills eight, total 24. Feed a mini ride nurse 30 minutes to grow your emote. All right, well. Let's see what our pack brings. Inner fire, inner fire. That's a good one to keep. In fact, these, eh, that won't get nerfed. These could get nerfed one day. I think Divine Spirit is the problem card, but some people think this one is, so. It'd eventually be nerfed. Long, and anytime there's a silence, you always, I don't think you disenchant silence ever. Shaman. All right, so we're looking for creatures that want to die, basically. I'm not sure we're gonna find any. Oh, Devolve is gonna be insane. Everyone's gonna, again, playing eggs and stuff. So that's a really good one. Maelstrom Portal, I think is gonna be good. Again, a lot of, uh, gonna be a lot of one ones running around. We could just play, we could just play Gensh. Actually, Genshom is probably busted, right? Just because you start off turn one totem. Yeah, I bet, I bet Genshaman might be a, a top deck here. The Death Rattle stuff that they don't play normally. Dire Doggy might be a little bit too small. But, um, not sure. Oh, yeah, the Jade cards out. They play all the Jade cards. I guess we play Silence because we know probably going to be good. I guess we throw in Patron. Oh, we can't play Patron. Oh, that's the reason. Well, that's the reason not to begin is because then we can't play Patron. Oh, yeah, Thing from Below. We could play Hagatha because of Patron. Like, that might be my answer to Patron. Just play Hagatha. I mean, it's kind of negative synergy with um, the deck. You don't really want to blow your own stuff up. But, I mean, it does kill Patrons. That kills Patrons, too. All right. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just roll with Genjom in here. See how, see how good it is. Imagine between the Jade Lightning and Crackles going face. We have plenty of uh, burst here. Uh-oh, someone might be doing the same thing now. Egg is insane. I think Thing From Below is a keep, too, just because we're going to turn one hero power, turn two egg, turn three, probably hero power, maybe one of these. These work together. All right, we'll just keep everything. We have turned our curse into our it's possible. Oh, Dragon Egg. I didn't think about Dragon Egg. Yeah, Dragon Egg's really good. I'll save the coin. There's a chance we need to, like, do these together here. I mean, this is weird because it's good and it's not good because the two ones die to the ping and then... Weird, right? Well, that's a lot of, that's a lot of pressure. Missed our uh, guy there. Ooh, that's a good idea. All right. If we devolve mini rag, does it like just get rid of it? Anyone know? I guess we'll find out here, huh? Although, this thing is big. And eh, we'll just see what happens. Oh, it works. Oh my god, it works. It does work. <laughs> Alright, so we can kill that, play this, kill that, and then he's like... And coin out a totem 
And then I have a three mana thing. All right, we'll just coin to him out. Oh, he comes back. Okay, so he comes back, but he's small again. Though so Devolve does do something. It not only, like, it, it removed his pinging. Like, now I'm the one getting the ping. Damn, that was pretty good. Wow, he got a, he got a pretty good uh, pretty good evolve there. Sea Giant versus Jade Lightning versus Hero Power. Think from below. That's a decent trade. Probably should trade our guys because this thing, you know, could kill <laughs> could kill them. Maybe the best play is just uh is this a free roll totem? Yeah, it is a free roll totem. Yes, we kill this and then I mean eight damage. We have ten face damage, fourteen face damage. Do I care about these? I don't think so. Elements guide me. Uh oh, this could go bad if they uh wait. The boom the boom bot didn't die? Wait, what? <laughs> the boom bot got killed, but then it got healed like in mid death animation. That was like crazy. All right, so Gen Shaman did technically work. Uh, we were under pressure with the Dragon Egg, so that that's one to think about going forward. It's got good synergy and bad synergy in the sense that, yeah, you get free two ones, but the two ones also die. It does ramp up the rag really quickly, so a burn deck would definitely look at Dragon Egg, right? Like a mage deck, probably. Would play Egg just to get the, the ramp up the rag real quickly. Now, Baku decks can play Grim Patron. So maybe we just do Baku Rogue, right? I think that's what we do. Missing out on, um... Egg, we got egg, we got the... So we miss out on Nerubian Egg, Haunter Creeper, but we do get Dragon Egg. We just want all the, like... Cold Bloods. <laughs> I don't own Leroy, so we can't play Leroy, unfortunately. We might have to play, uh... Rocketeer? Is Rocketeer even? It is even, shoot. I mean, Thug is just an auto play. Raging Worgen. Maybe just play Raging Worgen and Vicious Fledgling. And hope, hope it works. Need more one drops. So what's the best one drop in this brawl? Oh, that's just always good. Although, is that going to live? Turn one, you play it, and it dies, right? It's like a turn three play. Oh, Emerald Hive Queen seems good. Just It's just like a zombie chow without the downside of healing them. I don't really have card draw. How does Baku normally draw cards? They don't, right? I guess, I guess Sprint, but I don't see that ever. Their hero power just has to do the job. All right, we'll try this. We got, we got turn two hero power and a couple dangerous three drops, right? Raging, Raging Worgen. And uh, Vicious Fledgling. I do. I think we keep the Patron always. I think Patron is just completely busted. What are we keeping here? Are we coining something out? Coining Raging Worgen out is interesting. Maybe I just coin this out, right? That's the coin play. So maybe I keep uh, turn two hero power and just try to get a one drop. Yeah, I think that's the play. So we'll we'll try to get a one and then turn two. 
Your power. Baku, not a great one. None will survive. I bet he's Baku too. I bet you anything he's Baku too. He's not Baku, okay. This is kind of the perfect card because it absorbs the pings and it just also um, hits them for two, right? Why did this shrink? Oh, because it was Leoc. It was it, it never got big. It just had Leoc buff. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So we have Coin Patron, and then the game might be over. Deadly shot. Ooh. So we know you can kill this, but it comes back. You gotta avoid the uh, multi shot here. That was really lucky, because now if he plays his patron, at least we get to uh, trade back. Get any patrons, but how bad is Rexar? Rexar is not bad because we get a patron and we get an enraged worgen, and then the rag does like three more damage, so I think he's fucked. <laughs> Unleash the hounds, doesn't go anywhere. He could like explosive. Played one rogue class card in that win. Well, neutral's very strong in this brawl. That deck seemed really good. That deck seemed really good. Paladin's got to be insane too because we can just be Baku Paladin with Patron and uh, Muster for Battle. Yeah, so I'm thinking Paladin might be top tier already here. Like we just do the same thing we did with Rogue, but we get better cards. I think, right? I like this. All right, so we get muster for battle, divine favor. Maybe not even again. Maybe not even need that because the the brawl is accelerated, right? The end of the game comes because of rag. So actually, now that I'm thinking about it, if our plan is to make dudes and rag kills dudes, is that even good though? Uh oh, emerald hive queen, dragon egg, dire mole. Is that good? It's almost good. Sword of justice, interesting because our guys survive pings. Yeah, maybe that's the plan. Let's use that one. That does work with Call to Arms quite well, actually. I think we ditch Firefly. We're just looking for um, bigger one drops. Gravel Snout Knight is good with Call to Arms. Giving your opponent a, a thing that dies to Rag might be pretty good, too. That might be a dangerous one, but we'll try it. Oh, yeah, that card just goes in. Again, we're feeding the Rag, but maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. Maybe I just... Oh, yeah. Patron. Duh. We forgot about Patron. Vine Cleaver seems good because, again, there's going to be a lot of extra face damage. I mean, that's a hand. We got Turn 1 Dragon Egg. Coin Evenge into Hero Power into Horse Trainer Divine. That's just a, that's just going to be good. Now, Horse Trainer gets a lot worse because the, the dudes die to pings, but... He's still, thre no, he's still threatening. He's still threatening. Uh 
Oh, we got dragon egg battles here. Wow, never lucky. Although buffing the egg is good. Wait, oh, we don't get avenge? Oh yeah, because it's on our turn. Oh, we got debated. Oh my god. Oh, does this buff? Wait, does avenge buff this now? Uh oh. All right, so we're getting destroyed here. The um. The pings happen not when we want them to happen, it looks like, because they're happening on his turn. So this, like, yeah, this doesn't work that well. Alright, it does avenge. Okay... The difference between his um his egg and my egg was kind of hilarious, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we're kind of let's play. Yeah, we're just gonna die to the next turn. Damn, look how quick that was. A tale of terrible tragedy. We definitely fed the we definitely fed the rag. All right, we'll move on. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this deck is good or not. It obviously is not good against what he did. Turn one egg into egg. And uh, it looks like the gravel snout knight doesn't line up the way you want to because you want this to you want the pings to go after you play it, but the pings only come the next turn. So basically, you give them a free one drop to. Yeah, so the Gravel Snot Knight's not good. I think the Emerald Hive Queen's fine, though. Alright, we'll move on. To Hunter. Yeah, it's the uh, the Baku decision again. So, when we lose... When we play Baku, we lose the... The, uh, the Rubian Egg Honda Creeper. We get... We still get Patron and Dragon Egg. So, let's tr keep trying Baku. I think... I think... I think it might be the way to go. Gurbashi Berserker. All right. This thing grows the rag. Maybe that's all we care about is growing rag. Could play Humongous Razor Leaf. Just again, just as an absorbing guy. Right. It absorbs all their pings while we ping. Hopefully their face. Ah, this also works with Owl. All right, let's try this thing. Let's just try it. Let's protect the wild. Let the hunt begin. It's tempting to keep Owl because Nerubian Egg is so um, it's powerful that uh, maybe we have to keep. I think I will keep it. Just to, I don't want to because like the, against that mage, the reason we lost was well, number one, Dragon Egg, but number two, the Nerubian Egg kind of finished me off, right? Actually, the Dragon Egg just buffed that thing up to a billion because I had a Dragon Egg too, but he was like going first, so it like. None will survive. Yeah, whoever gets this egg first is way ahead. It's just way ahead. Because, like, look, it's turn one and he's about to take two, four, six, nine damage. Like, whatever I play is likely just to die now, so... 
Might as well just throw that away for three health, right? <laughs> like, how can he possibly play enough stuff to not have this completely destroy everything? Oh, he could mark. Yeah, he can mark stuff. Eh, might work. This turn's very important because, uh, well, if he survives with a board, then this thing is, like, gonna kill me. <laughs> Living man. Oh, that's insane. Oh, that's insane. Oh, can we silence this thing? No, we can't. Demon. Hmm. So the face plan. The problem with the face plan is that your opponent, like that's why Hermugus Razor Leaf actually, I think, is good. If we had that the Razor Leaf, we would absorb so much damage. Eight. Basically, it's three mana heal for eight. All right, we'll keep we'll keep moving on here. We'll th keep thinking about that Razor Leaf. Mark is insane. It's like, what this does, it's like one mana up to four or five health, right? You just don't want to build more health than the pings can take care of, right? If we can land Soul of the Forest, that might be hard to do, but if we can land it, it's good. I think Humongous Razor Leaf is insane. The Owl has the problem of dying to pings very easily, but I think it's a necessary evil. Plus it technically combos with the uh, Razor Leaf. Living Mana I don't own. Living Roots. Living Roots combos with the uh, buffing stuff. Okay, Patron obviously. Spreading Plague. If, if we, we start losing then Plague gets us back in. Branching Paths. That's a good one because that can get lethal or it can heal for 12. Right? We saw we saw a reason to heal for 12 for sure. Unara versus Uther. I will fight with honor. The forest fights back. I'm gonna keep the Patreon. Keep that. I think that's a good deal. Two mana, absorb five. Ramping into Patron also might just be the best strategy, right? Just wild growth right into um. Oh, he's not Bach. And we saw that Peacekeeper wouldn't work because if Owl doesn't work. Peacekeeper wouldn't work either, right? No. Trust me. Got two patrons when one wasn't enough. Paladin can play equality, so that is a counter to a patron. Oh, I could have silenced my own guy. Hmm. Maybe that was just the play. I need that high queen to die, because I do have a patron here. Oh, we can definitely kill it. Ooh, we even have we even have a grim patron versus um 
versus this thing. That's kind of hilarious. If he qualities, we might not want to play this because um, the odds of be getting hit are lower because there's mm. so many uh, three ones. Side effects? No. Trust me. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't even play that either because like we just lost a uh, free patron there. This guy's just chilling over here. He um he overstayed his welcome. Now we have patron. All right, so is that gonna work? It might work. It did work, unfortunately. Uh, this isn't gonna blow it <laughs> just go face I guess right oh that can go face too patrons hey, op warlock all right the warlock has um some stuff right we just play zoo, maybe? The file would be a way to deal with all the garbage stuff we're playing against, for sure. But maybe we want to be the one playing the garbage stuff. The neutrals, oh, Imp Gang Boss, that's pretty good. Oh, Treachery, Treachery Halfiend uh, is like an automatic combo because, because uh, you get pings. I wonder if that's, that's even worth the trouble though, because it is a six mana play still. We could play Doomsayer. Maybe that's the route we take here. Doomsayer also absorbs damage pretty well. We should play Ancient Watcher. Humongous Razor Leaf. Owl. Patron. Patron Defile, also a combo. Egg. Oh yeah, I forgot about the other egg because I was playing so many Baku and Gen decks that I forgot that I could just have all the eggs. That seems good. Void Terror is always interesting with eggs and stuff, but like we almost don't need this because we're just gonna break them naturally over time. Void Lord, cheating out Void Lord seems like a plan. That's a demon too, so we could we could also help. We could also, ooh, we could Void Collar into our Halfiend on, that's not what we want, right? Alright, we'll try this. So we got some egg stuff going on. We got the Halfiend combo. We got the uh, Imp Gang Boss, Grim Patron Defile kind of stuff. And we have the Void Collar, Void Lord possibility. These games end really quickly, so maybe there's just no time to try to do anything past Grim Patron. Like, we're dead by then, right? Like, what's the point of taking their hand if we're gonna die? I forgot to put um, Haunted Creeper in. Those cards do just accelerate the game. However, throw. Um, we'll throw away the um, Alphine. Try to get a uh, Void Lord here. We do get a Void Lord. Ooh, okay. How do we do use these emotes? Like, what's the point of getting emotes if we can't, like, emote? Do we have more emotes here? Uh, oh, we do. Oh. And am I supposed to tap? I don't think I even tap because... 
I could just draw the Halvine and then I this messes up that, right? Vitality totem, that's a nifty idea. That's a good idea, too. I guess. It's just a good deal on health. Anything that's a good deal on health... Is it a good deal, though? Because he paid... He paid five mana for eight, right? So it's kind of like a Death Lord. From the void I come. There's no hex for him, though, so he's going to... Pretty much get a uh, Void Lord coming down here. There's Devolve next turn. We saw Devolve works on Rag, but he does come back. He does come back. He can devolve, but then I get an, an A drop, right? So it's like not like gonna really save him. Unless the A drop is the worst A drop in the game. Yeah, hey, let's just do this. Once this dies, Devolve does get way better. Because then we get a two, a two, and a zero. Uh, how, big, how good is Defile? Defile just takes his whole hand, right? So maybe I wait for turn 8 to do that. Alright, I hope that doesn't... I'm just going to play that ahead of time. Because, um... He might get devolved anyway. Alright, now the question is, is it worth it to defile? The defile will kill basically everything. Maybe I just... Hit it a couple times. <laughs> just hit it a couple times. That wants to go there. To the Yeah, it's a little bit awkward because now he can like evolve his Halvine, right? And he can also attack it on purpose so it doesn't take six pings. The timing of this rag is not really what we want for a lot of the combos. C cards that, uh... So he takes, he takes 11 damage, no he takes 8 damage and he loses 3 cards here. And it probably uh, dies. I know he gets to attack. Well, why not kill your Hal Fiend off?
Uh, so we could defile, get infinite patrons. Is there a reason to though? I don't think there's a reason to. So many So now he has to deal with my board and survive 15 damage worth of pinging. Getting to turn 10 seems like it's impossible in this brawl. It's like we pretty much played the biggest health. We both played like the biggest health minions you could play. Like he's playing Defender. I'm playing Humongous Razor Leaf and uh, Inf Gang Boss. Now Inf Gang Boss has a lot of health, but it also ramps us up. So it does speed it up. Ancient Watcher. We got roped. All right, well played. Well played. A path dimly <laughs> he way he grew. Did <laughs> you saw that? He grew. All right, mage. We saw we lost to mage early on to basically egg. The guy had egg into egg into mere mere image, which seemed good. Explosive rune is dangerous when everyone is just playing eggs, but at the same time It is burn maybe one ice block That's all I need. We'll just play counter spell Let's try this here. So how many secrets do I have one two three four five six seven Wait, how many do I have do I have mere I have one two Three, Gina, four, five. Oh, I only have five secrets, actually. Ooh. Or I don't think that's enough. You asked for, it. for what I'm trying to do. It's weird. That, I thought this was good, but it, maybe it's not what I want in this type of deck, huh? Oh, that's a good idea. Who better than have that one? Alright. That's a pretty good idea. Oh, I forgot to put in patron. Oh no. That was a mistake. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Patron's just OP. In fact, we're gonna do this right before patron, so we get patrons too. <laughs> Did not play this one in our warrior deck. That was definitely a mistake, I think. Oh, if if um if he doesn't play a creature, we have we already have the mirror image entity, and we have the explosive runes to kill his patron. Wow, we didn't we didn't open the egg up. Okay. One problem with having two secrets is like he's less likely just to play the patron, right? Yeah, he definitely uh He's definitely not gonna walk into it. But we get to keep blocking patron and then maybe fireball him. Armor Ooh, that one is good. We'd have a decent deck if I had Patron. Because I don't have Patron, I think the deck is just terrible. Also, I don't have enough secrets for Lackey. Lackey was a mistake. The Curator Mage maybe is okay. But uh the Lackey, not so much. Let the pain speak to me. Let the pain speak to me. Acolyte's a good idea. If you want cards, I guess. Heroic Strike, that's a weird one. Alright, 
Well, he definitely has Grim Patron now. Unfortunately, unfortunately he definitely has it now. I'm late. I'm late. Wow, our 2 1 died immediately. I mean, yeah, we're going to lose to Patron. So he, we get to do 5, 10, 16, but then he gets a board full of them. If this somehow like hits him in the face nine times. I have an oh, he's not playing Patron? Wow. Be thirsty. All right. What's worth more, fireball or a 5-3? Th Probably a fireball. I mean, one reason to use fireball is that if I have two 5-3s, they're likely to protect each other. Whereas if I just have one 5-3, the first 5-3 might just die. All right, we'll uh, see if this will work here. Well, one five three died. That's not what we wanted, right? I guess brawl does work. Um, we saw that devolve worked. It comes back later as a two. I really need it to be a fifteen, so brawl would be bad. I wonder. Unless he won the brawl, and then it's fine. <laughs> then it's fine. Yeah, the worst is if brawl works, he comes back as a two, and then we win with this one. If he has Grim Patron right now, we might still win because one of these is going to hit him in the head. And then we have 10 damage. I guess we need two pings to the head. I guess it makes sense. You're trying to um, win the life lead, right? One more class, one more. We got we got over we got over a hundred. Hundred kills. Is that good? I don't know. We're doing pretty good on the wins. We are six out of uh eight. Not bad. Alright, what's Priest doing here? Oh, yeah, master spell. I think this works. Do we want it to work? Maybe. I guess we'll try it for science. Patron Spirit Lash combo? <laughs> Spirit Lash, right? That's kind of funny. I mean, we could play Purify. Honestly, we could just play Purify Priest here. Just have all the silences here. The ball is good because everyone's playing eggs. So that seems good. We can go turn one Cleric. It gets pinged and then we can heal and draw. I mean, that's circle might be really good because we might have a board of like Ancient Watcher... Egg, Humongous, Razor, Leaf, they're all damaged because of the pinging, and then we play Cleric and, and Circle for one mana, and we draw three cards, heal all our guys. That seems like a decent plan, honestly. Just play Shadow Visions for extra silences, maybe? Oh, we could, yeah, we get Master Spell. All right. I think this might be one of the better decks here. Well, we're definitely... My dear Malfurion. We're definitely going to have no shortage of silence targets here. That's good, but is it good by turn six? Possibly? We saw living mana. What am I trying to get? I guess eggs, right? Yeah, eggs are kind of better than everything else. Going, Having the first dragon egg is very important. My fire will be Well, not if they not if it misses both times. How does he not have a Oh, 
Well, that, got, that was a little bit late there. This one's almost better to play just because it's more likely to die. Do we get the tempo back? I don't I guess know. Now we can heal. Oh, he's just going to wait for Spreading Plague or something. All the eggs. I think he's just waiting for Plague. Although, why Plague Enchanted Raven? Oh, I see. Is that even good though? Because like, four of them are going to die probably. It does speed up the uh... For some reason to circle here. Just so our 4-4 four four doesn't die to this thing. I'll hold on to it. Why do you live? What? Why do you leave? Why do you let me have a four one? That made no sense. Maybe we mass the spell and go face. <laughs> see if this works here. It did work. Oh, it doesn't ping anymore. It's just it's just garbage now. <laughs> All right. It does make his plague pretty fucking good because I used my uh, right, spell. All right, got him. We cheated the brawl. That was a good one to end on with a cheat. All right, so that concludes the deck builder brawl for Ragnaros Fire Festival. We learned, well, we kind of already knew what that eggs are insane. I do like the Razor Leaf, uh, Ancient Watcher kind of stuff just to absorb the hits. And then you can silence them maybe. I think silence in general is good in the brawl. The best deck, I don't know. I think Priest might be up there because they have Shadow Visions into Mass Spell to totally ignore the brawl. And you could just do your own thing. Like, you could play, um, you know, Barnes, probably. <laughs> you could play Barnes Priest and just mass the spell the rag. So that's something you could try. Grim sure. Patron, obviously, insane. Probably the best card in a vacuum in the Brawl because it kind of wins the game by itself. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. I have links here for more content. And if you would like to see the channel grow, please click that subscribe button in the middle. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.